Newsstands like this one have disappeared all over the nation. This iconic stand in Sherman Oaks, California is trying to reinvent itself. So many magazines and periodicals have gone out of business that used to completely fill all of these shelves. Technology has decimated paper publications, so if a newsstand like this is to survive, they must find new ways to service their customers. This stand has been here for 70 years, and it would be shameful to lose it now. And what is, what is it we're doing here today? Today we're doing a re-grand opening for Sherman Oaks Newsstand that's been around since 1949 and they haven't done any renovations so today is the day that we are revealing the cleaning and the niceness of the newsstand. We're excited. Now there's a, a serious issue that has affected newsstands all over the country and that is the decline in demand for written periodicals and material because of the internet. How do you plan to supplement that so you can stay in business? Because I know there's still a great many people who want to hold that newspaper or magazine in their hand. What would you have to say about that? Well, today we are online as well at getitonthego.net and we wanted to merge the gap of bringing a pick like historic from the old with the new of millennials and making it something that everybody wants in the community. So now we're offering beyond the magazines and newspapers. We have food that they can purchase. We're getting Amazon Locker. We're making it just more today. Oh, you're going to have Amazon Lockers here too? Yes. So everybody can get the package sleeves will be cut out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Real convenient. Great. Now, how long have you been associated with this uh, stand? For three years. For three years? Yes. And you hope to be around for how long? Uh, till I die. <laughs> Until you die? Yes. Well, I think that's pretty optimistic, but uh, let's hope that it's around for a long, long time. Yeah, and I hope after me, someone continues, you know, to keep the history going. Today? What are you going to do today? <laughs> today, for the re-grand opening, we've, um, connected with the Chamber of Commerce and we are doing a ribbon cutting. A lot of celebrities come here, is that uh, correct? Yes, that is true. get the periodicals, uh, the trade publications, yes. and you have a good supply of those, Billboard, Rolling Stone, uh, Variety, Daily Variety, is that correct? Yes, they like to see if they're in them and then, you know, they like to read as well. They like to read as well. Yes. How about the Inquirer and all? You have that too. Yes, we have the Inquiry. Minds want to know. Definitely. So they can they can read the good news and the bad news. Right, but they say not all bad news is bad news, right? If people are talking about you, that means you're doing something. So as long as they spell your name right, it's okay. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> I like that. All right. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And if you would like to know more and you're not available and we have people that are out of town, they can be a part of Sherman Oaks Newsstand. We are on the web at shermanoaksnewsstand.com. Okay. Well, there you have it, the grand opening of the Sherman Oaks Newsstand at Ventura and Van Nuys Boulevard. Now, the question remains, can this newsstand stay open, stay viable, considering the stiff competition from the internet and it's killing newsstands all over the nation. I'm Paul Hubel reporting for Crime File News.